The man convicted of killing the father of NBA superstar Michael Jordan says he's innocent. James Jordan died in 1993. Andre Green and his friend Larry Demery were both charged with murder. Demery testified Green pulled the trigger, killing Jordan in the car where he'd been sleeping. And of course, you know, I'm pissed to a certain degree because I know that I've been here for 17 years, you know, for something that I like, you know what I'm saying, really didn't have nothing to do with. Green says a new report reveals mistakes at North Carolina's crime lab. The 35-year-old is trying to get his case back in court and has filed a motion on his own. First of all, you have uh, them withholding uh, potentially exculpatory evidence. The latest development in Green's case hinges on blood evidence. Back in 1996, an investigator testified she found a small amount of blood in the passenger seat of Jordan's car. But the latest report reveals the crime lab only found indications of blood during an initial test, and four follow-up tests were inconclusive. Green's case is one of nearly 200 under review. Other mistakes at the lab have led authorities to call for a criminal investigation. You know, already see me walking out of these doors, and that's what's you know inspired me and kept me going. So this is just something else that pretty much confirms that I'm on the right you know path. Green says he was not present when Jordan died, but has admitted he helped dispose of the body. He's also admitted to using Jordan's car and taking his jewelry. Son Michael Jordan has declined to comment. Carlotta Bradley. The Associated Press.